is Schuster and I'm back with another pickup. And in one of my last videos, someone asked, uh, left a comment they wanted to see the higher quality reps from some of the sites. And I think one of them asked if I knew Max from Fire Kicks, and I said yes. So I hit up Max and got these from him. And these are fresh from the factory. And I mean that literally, because the day that I ordered these, um, they weren't in stock. So he told me that he was gonna have the factory make them and then he'll go pick them up when they're ready. And he asked me what size did I want. And I told him, well, I want a 13. And he did get them in a 13 custom made because they mostly come up, go up to size 12. So he hooked me up with the 13. And I tried the shoe on, it is an actual 13. It's not a 12 with a 13 sticker on it. It's a real 13. And we'll get to those shoes in a minute. So right now let's get a look at the box. It's got that mocha color, it's like a brownish color. I don't know if the camera's picking it up because of the poor lighting in here. But it's got, it's brown. And here's a look at the tag. Let me see if I can focus. It's Air Jordan 1 High OG TS SP. And it's got the suggested retail here. And it feels like it's just all one sticker, it doesn't fold or anything. There's the barcode and everything there. And you can see the box came in excellent condition, no bumps or dents or anything at all. Nothing, I mean it's flawless. Came bubble wrap, double box. And I'll probably keep this box around just to, to keep it because it's in such good shape. I could put another pair of shoes or something in there. Inside it's got the pink paper here and it's got white paper under it and you can see it's got the green sticker there, the green and white sticker, it's red on the inside it's got white on the outsides here so let me get that stuff out the way and look at this the lid some of the paper was stuck to the glue under here because this like I said these are freshly made so this wasn't folded all the way down it's got a Nike swoosh right there and some writing and stuff on the other side I'm not sure if the cameras can pick it up I think that's the dimension to the box yeah so now let's get into the shoes Here's the left shoe with four bags of laces and one on the shoe. So five in total. It's got a nice thick tongue on it. Let me see if I can raise the camera and back these up a little bit. It's got cactus jack here on the side. And one flaw that I seen was this right here in the toe box. It looks like it wasn't like it's crooked or something. I know the toe box is, you can see it right there, but it's not glued right right here. See if you can see what I'm talking about there, like the way it's pressed. And that's probably the only thing wrong with the shoe that I've seen, but like this can be fixed with some heat. But I'm just gonna leave it alone because I'm gonna be I plan on rocking these as they are. And another thing is the material is wrong. This is supposed to be have a lot more fuzz to it and a lighter brown than this. This is a little dark. And let's look at the other shoe because this one has too many bags on it. Inside the shoe it's got a cardboard uh, shoe tree inside the shoe it's got cactus jack the white insole in there there's the size tag I don't know how close I can get to that it says size 13 the date on it is December the 4th 2018 
through December 25th, 2018. And that's the size tag. That's what it says on the size tag there. Uh, let's see if the insoles will come out. It's halfway coming out, but, but the rest of it is it's glued down. And the glue is really sticky on these. I'm just trying to show you the strings and stuff on the inside. Put that back together. The top of the shoe's got like I guess it's nylon material on the sock liner. They do have that little pocket there. And this one's real hard to open. Like I said, these are freshly made. You can see the inside there. So I'll put that back together. I don't plan on using that. And you can see the material here. Now it's got that ashy look, a little bit of it. And what they did is they used sandpaper on it. Like they wet sanded the shoe. So it would have that ashy look on it. I see. I noticed that when I did an up close look at it. Um, I seen that. You can see the sanding marks up here. So that's how they made the, that look there. There's a Nike swoosh on the side. It's leather. And this is soft leather here. Yeah, this one, uh, the swoosh is softer than the white part here. It's got the black laces. They're really long on them. Here's the perforated holes. You can check if they're the right size. I know all authentic ones have the same size holes. And these look like they're pretty much there. They might be a little bit smaller. Here's a look at the stitching on the shoe, on the toe box. The stitching on the back. There's a little face there. You can see where it got sanded on his face. Back of the tongue is the Nike Air tag. This one. And here's an up close look at the Cactus Jack on it. And it does have Cactus Jack right here in 3M. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get a light on it. Yeah, you can see it now. Trying to... There it goes. What's there? It says Cactus Jack on it. So here's the, the midsole. It's a different color of white. It's like a cell white. It has like an aged look to it. And what else did I miss? The outsoles are chocolate colored or mocha colored. As is the top, but like I said, this should be a little bit lighter. Maybe one or two shades lighter. And the suede should have more fuzz to it. But they're not bad. Um, Like I said, I hit up Max and he gave me a price and I took it because I was pretty curious myself to see what they would come, what the quality would be. So here they go. This is a, what you get when you buy from them. And uh, I don't think I missed anything else. Oh yeah, this one has a different insole. This one says Nike Air on the inside. And got red laces, the mocha colored, white, and pink, and um, I watched a couple other view reviews on these, but I don't think anybody else has this size, or anybody else that has did an on foot of these after they got them, but I'm going to go ahead and do that for you right now, I'm going to lace these up, I'm going to cut this bag off here. I'll lace them up and I'll do an on foot right now. So we'll get to that right now and then I'll wrap up the video.